Today, I have for you the loudest protein bars ever. These things are basically in little miniature snack bags. They are so crinkly. Anyway, Alani New, Alani New Fit Snacks. I went to Vitamin Shop and I bought all the flavors they had. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five of them here. My recent track record for trying protein bars has been less than ideal, to say the least. I don't think that tastes like anything. I don't know how to describe that smell, but that is so unappetizing. If I had to summarize this one, I'd probably summarize it like this. These aren't cereal bars. I don't, I truly don't think they're cereal in them because they're a bunch of liars. General Mills, I'm so upset with you. Uh, I don't know. When I posted on Instagram that I was gonna be trying these bars, I got quite a few people either saying that they absolutely love them, that these are the best protein bars they've ever had, and other people saying that they are complete trash. I didn't get one person right down the middle saying that they're just fine, which makes me so excited. I'm hoping to either love these or hate these. We'll see, but I've tried pretty much every single protein bar out there. Odds are I'm gonna probably think that these are middle of the road. I can't say for sure, but since I've tried pretty much everything out there, I have a large sample size of what to compare these to, but at first glance and first feel, first of all, they're kind of small considering the packaging, but they feel very much like Fit Crunch bars, the Robert Irvine bars. I used to love those bars. I don't really like them that much anymore because they taste really artificial. When I was first getting into the protein bar game, they were the closest thing to candy bars, so I really liked them, but they're pretty artificial tasting. I don't know if these are gonna taste like that, but nutritionally, they look very similar and just like feel-wise, the coating and the, I'll show you once I open these. And I'm holding Munchies flavor. What does that mean? It looks like the photo is butter, cookies, and pretzels. Right? I think that's butter. Butter, cookies, pretzels. Anyway, 170 calories, 6 grams of fat, 17 carb with 5 fiber and 5 sugar, and 16 grams of protein. 5 different flavors. I always like to try them in the order that I think I'll like them. So what I think is gonna be my least favorite first and save the best for last. Cookies and cream, I tend to like. That one's gonna be the last one I try. Confetti cake is gonna be the first one I try because birthday cake flavored stuff, more often than not, is pretty gross. Strawberry shortcake will be next. Peanut butter, and then I'll go munchies, and then I'll go cookies and cream. Let's do it. So we're gonna start here with confetti cake. Oh, that's fun. Cake, 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 cake. Shout out Rihanna. These are good looking bars. They got a nice coating and lots of crunchies in them. Kind of small, but they are 170 calories. So I don't expect them to be huge. This smells like artificial birthday cake flavored anything you would ever try. So no kind of caramel or anything inside. It is just a crunchy, like soy crisp kind of interior. Here we go. That, that's exactly what I was expecting that one to taste like. It's got an artificial birthday cake flavor to it. I will say much thicker than I thought that was gonna be. Because it's got all the crispies inside, I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter, more Rice Krispie-esque, but that thing is dense. And the aftertaste is the artificial flavor that I was anticipating. I'm glad I tried that one first, because I was not expecting to like that, and I don't. Strip. It went so far. Don't have high expectations for strawberry shortcake. I also don't know how that translates to a crispy bar. It smells like strawberries. This one's beautiful. This is very pretty. It goes with the, the packaging quite nicely. Beautiful, huh? 
It smells like strawberry flavored stuff. It doesn't smell like strawberries, it smells like strawberry flavor. Big difference. These are so much chewier than I feel like they should be. Again, that's exactly what I would expect an artificial strawberry protein bar to taste like. I don't really have words for that either. I'm just kind of hoping that the back half of these bars is more enjoyable because that, if you like strawberry flavored stuff, then I can see liking that one. Makes quite the crummy mess. I can see liking this one if you do like strawberry flavored stuff, but just like the birthday cake flavored one, it was exactly what I was expecting in terms of it being just like an artificial flavor. Eh, I don't know. If you've had a protein bar that's peanut butter flavored, you know exactly what this smells like. I can already tell what this is gonna taste like. Don't judge a book by its protein bar cover. Bugs everywhere. So again, this has just got like a crispy interior. This one has little, no, they're just crunchies on the outside. I thought they were gonna be chocolate chips, but they're just little crunchies on the outside and a peanut butter coating. So far, every single one I've tasted tastes like a protein bar I've had before. It's just a very generic tasting protein bar. This one's peanut butter flavored, just like every other peanut butter protein bar I've had. So if you've had any kind of peanut butter protein bars, there you go. If you like those, there it is. But that one doesn't do it for me either. For the record, not horrible. Like, not the worst thing I've eaten. The past two protein bars that I reviewed, way worse. So that's fine. For people to say that these are the best protein bars they've ever had, they're either lying or they haven't had other protein bars because so far, those don't blow me away. So that leaves us with two here. That leaves us with munchies that I still don't quite know what that flavor is gonna be, and cookies and cream. I kinda wanna flip-flop now and do cookies and cream. We're gonna save munchies for last because I have no barometer of what that should taste like because I've never had a butter-flavored protein bar. There's cookies and cream for you. The inside, I would imagine, it's gonna be black crunchies inside black crunchies inside, but this one does have the cream coating here, which could be a good thing. So hopefully there's a little bit more flavor to it than just the like Oreo cookie. I'm shocked by how chewy these are. Biting into it, it feels like it should just be light and crispy. You know what? The interior tastes stale to me. I couldn't pinpoint that like texture but it's like, it should be crunchy and crispy, but it's still a little bit soft and it makes it feel stale. If I did a blind taste test on that one, I don't think I would have got cookies and cream. I feel like that white chocolate's really coming through that I would just think it's a white chocolate coated bar. I guess it's that cream that's like really prominent here. Here you go. Focus on it. Let's go, let's go camera. No, it just wants to focus on me. What are you gonna do? I mean, that one's, that one's fine, it's just that one, of all of them was not the flavor I was expecting. All the other ones were spot on the flavor I thought they would be. It's munchy time. I don't know, am I being dumb? Like I don't think that's peanut butter. I think it's just straight butter. Butter, cookies, and pretzels. And for what it's worth, these do look very similar to the Fit Crunch Bars, but Fit Crunch Bars are softer. Like you can break into one of those and it's much more like a candy bar than these ones. Like when you go to break it, it doesn't just like easily come off. It fights you a little bit. This is confusing. It does kind of taste like butter. But why would I want to snack on that? This is weird. I love pretzels. You don't really get much pretzel in that but you do taste the butter flavor that they added. So that's just like a, a dense chocolate and butter bar. 
Well, this is the outcome that I was really hoping to avoid. This is a perfectly average protein bar. This isn't total trash. This isn't the best protein bar I've ever had. Those are the only two things I was hearing from people. These are right down the middle, so I'd give these a five out of 10. I've tried a lot of protein bars, so I have a wide palate. If you've never had protein bars and these were your introduction to them, they'd probably taste better. So there you go. There's Alani new five out of 10 bars. I tried five, that's not right. I give these bars a five out of 10. I happen to try five bars. I don't know if they have 10 total. I found five. I wanna hear your favorite protein bars. Like I've said, I've tried a lot, but I haven't tried them all. So if there are protein bars that you absolutely love, you know, that aren't the main ones that everyone has tried, let me know in the comments. I would love to try some new bars, give them a review and see how they stack up.